Jeffrey Pepper Rogers back with Guitar Sessions, and that was the uh, intro riff to a uh, great Don Henley song, The Boys of Summer. Uh, and I'm here in this lesson to teach you an arrangement of that for acoustic guitar. So I'm going to teach you how to play that intro section and the basic chords. And uh, over on Patreon, you can find charts and tab for everything I'm going to do, as well as a uh, deeper dive into the rhythm and the instrumental bridge and all the parts of it. So let's get rolling. A quick background on this song. It actually originated with Mike Campbell from Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. And uh, as a, a synthesizer and, and drum machine kind of thing. Uh, and um, I'll just play you a little piece of his guitar version of, of the riff that he started with. And it goes like this. Pretty cool, right? So in the key of C sharp minor, I'm fretting the, uh, the second and third strings of the fourth fret, and I'm just playing that on top of these uh, bass notes that change from here on the fourth fret of the fifth string, open fifth string, second fret fifth string back down to the open fifth string again. So that version of the song is in the key of C sharp minor, and that goes into E major. When Don Henley got a hold of this and, and wrote the rest of the song over that, uh, he ultimately decided to change the key and raise it another step. So he was actually up here in the key of D sharp minor, uh, or E flat minor, and um, uh, gets way up there and uh, he's really stretching his voice to the, the top of his range sounds amazing uh, in my version that I'm gonna do here though I drop the key way down to a minor so down six half steps from the Henley key or uh, four half steps from the original Mike Campbell key uh, just a, a key that I like to sing it in uh, so um, you can try it in my key if you want to raise it up uh, you could use a capo and the same chords that I'm doing. If you want to play it in Don Henley's key, you could put a capo at the sixth fret and then use these A minor shapes like what I am doing. So this song only has four chords. So again, I'm in my key of A minor here. So our one is the A minor. And then we go to F, which is the uh, flat six. Um, and I am primarily playing that as a F over C like this. We've got a, a G, which I'm mostly playing like this. Not fretting the fifth string, I'm muting the fifth string. Uh, so the verse is just that A minor, F, and G. And then on the chorus, it brings in a C chord. Uh, C, G, F, C, G, F in the chorus. So super simple uh, chords in this song. But let me dig into the intro here. The main thing is we've got this repeating line, dee, 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 which goes over all of our chords in the intro. So in this key of A minor, it's right here. So starting on the uh, second string, first fret, down to the open string, and then the open third string. So that's going to go over all of our chords, that very same line. And the reason this works so nicely uh, in using A minor shapes is you can go play that A minor, then you can just lift up your fingers on the second and third strings to play that line. So I'm playing across the middle four strings so that I end up on the second string there. So I sound 
that as my melody note. I'm going to go to the F chord and I'm going to play it as an F over C. And I can do kind of the same thing. I can just lift up my fingers from the second and third strings to make it. So I got that second and third strings open under that F chord. Now I'm saying I, I am doing that as an F over C like that, so fifth string is my lowest bass note. Uh, you could, if you're comfortable with thumb fretting, you could reach over and get that low F on the sixth string if you want. I generally do not use thumb fretting. I'm perfectly happy playing that F over C for my F. Uh, and then we're going to take it over to a G, and we're going to do the exact same line. So when I start off on the G, it's actually going to be a, a, a G sus4. So I've got the second string fretted at the first fret. And then I'm going to lift it up and play the open second and third strings, just like on the other chords. to the F and do the same. So melodically, that is, and uh, harmonically, that's the main thing going on. The only thing that, that uh, I'm doing is to, to really uh, drive it more is um, to add this, I'm kind of kicking up the, the bass. I'm playing pretty percussively on this. So let me break down this uh, rhythm part with uh, the kind of bass notes and the percussion added in. On the A minor, so I'm gonna start off with that strum of the chord. And then I'm gonna play the bass note again on the fifth string. So it's two, three, four. So that is one pattern, but then the other thing I do is on beat four, I sometimes will do a, a two eighth notes rather than a quarter note. So uh, it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. Get that rocking, I'm kind of hitting those uh, like that last uh, beat four. A little harder coming down on my picks, I'm getting some percussion happening. So just on the A minor chord, if I speed it up a little bit, you get something like this. One, two, three, four. So it's either that with a single note on beat four or down up on beat four. And then I follow that very same pattern on the other chords, on F, the chord and then the bass note again. double up on that beat four, it'll be like. Same thing uh, with that extra percussion when I kind of get it rocking. Uh, very same pattern on the G. That's with the quarter note on beat four and, 
And if I play it uh, with two eighth notes on beat four, it'd be like this. When I'm doing the eighth notes, I'm kind of I'm muting again fifth, the fifth string, so I'm hitting strings six and four. And then I'm kind of coming back up and hitting the fourth string on the up stroke. So when I put all those together, I get something like this. First I'll do it a little slower and then I'll pick it up. One, two, three, four. minor for the verse. So while I'm singing, uh, I continue uh, with those chord shapes. I kind of strip the rhythm uh, back. Um, and uh, so on the on the, that instrumental riff, I'm kind of uh, hitting it a little harder on the guitar and then I strip it back. Um, in, the, in the full version of this, the run through over on Patreon, I'll get into the little bit more of the right hand rhythms of it, but it's uh, A minor, F, G, and then it brings in that C on the chorus. There also is this uh, instrumental section where it actually stays on the F for a little while, and I've kind of adapted some of that synthesizer stuff from the original recording to come up with a version of it that works on acoustic guitar. So um, you can check that out in the full performance, uh, which you'll see here in just one sec in this video. Uh, and if you want to dig into the details of how that's played and get the notation, you can head over to Patreon.